Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. We're kicking it to spring, too. Spring's next to Friday, folks. How's that? For all you folks up in the Northeast... It's coming. Don't worry. That sun's coming. Good little white water rafting. You're going to have a good one. This uh, quote is by uh, Maya Angelou. I believe the most important single thing beyond discipline and creativity is what? Is daring to dare. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Think about that, folks. Because the bottom line is that we're here to live. And everything is right inside you. So grab it and have a blast with it. Mugging wise, let's take a look at it out here. The Dow finished down 145, NASDAQ off 21, S&P's off 12, gold contract up $2.50, trading at 1,154 an ounce. Silver up 4 cents at $15.56 an ounce. Copper flat at 268 a pound. Light sweet crude down a buck 72, trading out of $47.41 a barrel. Oil, folks, I mean, that was oil. Uh, oil wants to go into its lows, and hey, if we break those lows and you have volume, today we had volume on the way down, that would be an ABC structure on the way down. What would it, <laughs> the price structure on that was like 25 bucks, folks. 32 is the low that was established in 08. So bottom line, you, I, everyone else in the good old world is going to save quite a bit of money on our gasoline and our oil. Bonds. You had the 10-year down five ticks at 127.01. 30-year off eight ticks at 159.14. Both of those structures are in ABC structures on the way down. What you have here is a total change of trend inside the bond market. And King Dollar. King Dollar up 849 ticks, closing at a high 100.26. We're going to go through that. My take is a, a, not only a change of trend, but a very large change of trend. It's a, more than a 1 to 1.618 ABC up off the lows that were established in 2011. Euro, Euro down a buck 50 at 104.85 and the yen up 11 at 121.39. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna we'll know what's going on in your world. Now let's go to the world of the SPY. What do we have? We take a look at the futures. What you have is this. SPY, last Friday, came down with monster volume. We came down with the, the volume of 188 million shares. You did a counter trend bounce yesterday, and you did that counter trend bounce with 93 million shares. So you're down with 188, do a counter trend bounce with 93. Well, guess what? Today we come down with 148 million. Big number, folks. Particularly a big number because what you have is this. That's on the daily. You put this on a weekly, and what you're going to see is that you're hammering into lower price and the volume is expanding we did after we make a high last two weeks ago so check this is insane we made a high two weeks ago with 400 million shares the 400 million was testing 1.2 billion from october from december's 15th then what do we do we come off that high with 570 million we did 500 what are we did 600 million this week yeah we did 600 million we did 600 million bottom line this market wants to go down to the swing points number one from December, which is the 198. The bigger takeaway, folks, though, is 190 to 181. That's the October 15th swing point. The NDX 100, the three Qs, the three Qs are confirmed ABC structure on the way down. What's unusual about this uh, is that the three Qs on the way up, well, the NASDAQ composite was the strongest. NDX 100 was right behind it. Bottom line, what do we do out here today? You broke the B point. We look at this in a daily first. You broke a B point. You broke it with volume. So this structure on the daily basis, we're at 105.33 right now. Uh, we, did, we, did vo we did volume out here today of 40 million shares. You broke the B point. The B point that we're talking about had volume of 25 million shares. What, we're gonna be, what you're going to be seeing is that you get, it's going to go after. These, these December swing lows out there. In fact, the ABC structure sets up to, for the 99 price point. Right now, you're at 105.33. We go take... 
we go take a look at the uh, gold contract. Well, yeah, let's yeah, no, let's do golds next. Take a look at gold. Gold needs wide price spread accelerated volume. What we didn't get today, which is positive for me and for the other gold bulls that are out there, is this. Is it didn't break the swing low of November. That is what dollar is going to hide. But bottom line, okay, it just went sideways. We need wide price spread. We need accelerated volume on the way up. And I want to see gold finish inside of 1162.50. And right now we're at 11.54. Bonds, bonds continue down. Bonds are in a monster ABC structure on the way down. If I, if I bring up the TLT and show you how this shakes out. Uh, inside the TLT, which is the 20 plus year bond, we had broken the B point last week, broke it with volume. You had the counter trend bounce out here yesterday. You're back inside the, the whole structure. Uh, the TLT right now is at uh, the 126 area, and that's going to be making the way uh, down into this. Uh, let me see. So we got 138, 25, so you get 13 bucks. So the, the, well, that's not that bad. The, the, the price structure is actually 123. No, it can't be 123. Where is it? One second. 138.50, 125, 35, 13. Yeah, it is 123. So that's interesting. So, so what we actually did here, oh, this is pretty wild. What we actually did is that when we basically, we have 123, so it finished one ABC down. Now you're building another structure. That's what we had there. That's, that, yeah, that's, that's what we had. Bottom line, bonds want lower price. Now, let's go to King Dollar, because King Dollar, folks, okay, this is going to be uh, wild just to see exactly what does happen here. What had happened on the program yesterday is that someone had called in, and then I was doing the continuous contract again. And this is, you know, okay, so picture something when you're doing something technically. When you're setting something up technically, what you want to do, you want to do the daily, the six-month, a couple-year, and then a 10-year. That's... You know, if you're picking out equities, that's what you want to do. You want to see where the matches are, okay? And it's very unusual when they all match up, okay? But that gives you a much clearer understanding of, a, on a longer-term basis, where they want to go and on a shorter term. What happens is this. If you get the long-term trend correct, the, sh the short-term trend, even if you're wrong on the short-term for a certain amount of time, you're going to be right. So it's important. The longer-term trend is, is much more important than the shorter-term trend you know, unless you're trading intraday. Okay, now that being said and done, what the dollar has done is this. If we bring this back, I'm going to bring this back on a monthly and show you something, okay? On a monthly basis, on a continuous contract, what we've done is, let me bring this up one second so you can see exactly how this shakes out. We did an ABC structure on the way up that started in May or April of 2011. The, and the ABC structure, that's when the dollar was at 73.01. So we went A to B, 73.01 up to the price point of 84.55. You pull back to 78 and then just went one way. That structure is more than a 1 to 1.618. When you do more than a 1 to 1.618 structure, ABC up or ABC down, guess what? You do something, no, not, you, it's not that you do something other than the same deal. That's a total change of trend. If you're doing that on the way up, guess what? You're going to start trending down. If you do that on the way down, you're going to start trending up. So I can't wait to watch how this whole baby shakes out in this aspect because what you do have, no doubt, is the whole world is looking at the U.S. dollar, the markets are looking at the dollar, uh, all of the above. It's, it's just, it's, it's pretty wild the, watching how this whole thing shakes out. We go over to Big Blue, we take a look at uh, IBM. What you're going to see with IBM is this. IBM, and this is, this is important to understand in the context of, number one, where we are in the marketplace, where this October 15th swing low is, because that's where the S&Ps want to go. IBM's trading at 154. Big volume today, you know, your October 15th swing low on IBM is at uh, 170, and we're at 154, okay? Getting destroyed. Bottom line, on the S&P, 
Get your stops in, folks. If you're in the market, just get your stops in. You stay right there. We're going to be coming back with our man, Mr. Dave White. And we're going to be talking technology. We're also going to be talking, Dave's going to be doing an outstanding workshop coming this Wednesday, folks. And what that workshop is going to be all about is so cool. Why? Because Dave loves trading options. And it's going to be how you trade option expiration. Because option expiration is coming Friday. It's going to be right tell back. If the economy